Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another YouTube video. I know I have been absent, but I got a little bit of time to myself today and I thought I would go through just my current makeup favorites. I am finishing up a little series that I did. It was a makeup declutter series. I got rid of a ton of makeup that I just don't wear, I don't use and I've really consolidated and curated my makeup collection. Um, a lot of y'all have been asking me what did you keep and what are your favorites? So I will be doing a reel on my Instagram showing you all the makeup that I kept, but I figured for today I would share with you my makeup favorites and apply them to my face just kind of like how I used to. And that way I can kind of talk through and let y'all know why I love these products rather than just kind of showing them. Make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, grab your makeup. You can get ready with me, do your makeup with me. I of course have some cold brew and let's go and get into it. Cheers. Okay, so I don't have anything on my face except for a little bit of moisturizer. I did go ahead and do my brows because it just takes me a really long time, but I thought I would go and share with you the product that I've been using in my brows, and y'all have noticed, I've been using the Tude Turn It On Soap Brows. I picked this up at my local Credo, and while I love this and I love the effect that it gives the brows, you can totally just use soap. It is essentially soap. Um, so this is what it looks like. Mine looks quite different than when you originally or when you first buy it. When you first buy it, it looks like a semi-transparent uh, glycerin bar of soap. Mine, I've added so much water to it and like mixed the soap in there with my spoolie. So it looks quite white now. Do this before foundation because if I do it after foundation, when I brush through my brows, it can get kind of clumpy and clump with my foundation. And then just to fill them in, I've been using my favorite NYX brow pen. This has not changed. It's my favorite uh, brow product. It's super easy. And that's what I've been doing in my brows. And then uh, not makeup related really, I wanted to mention something that I completely used up because I love this so much. I'm definitely gonna be purchasing more of this. Um, but this is the Clara and Fritz Tallow, Unscented Whipped Tallow Balm, as you can see. Like, I love this. Um, I love the owner. She's so, so, so nice. I think she and her husband own the company. They're so sweet and this is incredible. It is the best face moisturizer, body moisturizer. And the great thing about beef tallow is that it mimics the natural oils in your skin. So it's non-comedogenic. It's gonna be great for all skin types and especially kind of coming into the colder weather, this is gonna be incredible. I love this on the face and the body. And I'm sorry, my lighting is kind of going in and out. Um, but yeah, this is incredible. I do have a discount code. She was so kind enough to give me a discount code. So if you've been wanting to try beef tallow, definitely um, try hers. It's so good. She's got a bunch of other stuff on there too. She has a sunscreen stick that actually my kids use every single day and that's their daily SPF. So anyway, this is incredible and I just wanted to mention that. I know it's not really makeup related, but I wanted to mention that. All right, so as far as prep goes, I've actually been doing a lot of prep for my skin. A lot of that is because I just don't wear as much makeup anymore, and so I like to make my skin look as good as possible before even applying foundation or concealer or anything. So one thing I've been doing, and I, I do this all the time, but just a recent favorite of mine has been these Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balms. I love applying a really thick nourishing lip balm to my lips before I apply makeup. And this is my favorite. It really is more like a lip mask than a lip balm. It's very, very thick. Um, I also have these Rode Peptide Lip Treatments and these are so much better. So I'm gonna go and apply one right now. I think I'm gonna do the shade Goji. This is probably my second favorite shade. Um, and the tint is very, very light. It's nothing like intense. It just gives a sheer wash of color to the lips. So some other prep products. Um, let's go and do sunscreen. 
apply that first and then we'll talk a little bit about primer. So my number one sunscreen is the La Roche-Posay Tinted Mineral SPF 50. I love this, I'm almost out of it. And I wear this every single day, so. Um, the tint is very minimal, so no matter your skin tone, you should be able to use this. But I, uh, I don't tolerate chemical sunscreens very well. Um, so I'm always looking for a really good mineral one, but mineral sunscreens are so hit or miss. They're usually really thick, they're usually very white, and they never blend in as well on the skin and they never wear as well under makeup. But this one is amazing. It's And honestly, it's such a relief to finally have found a sunscreen that works well with my skin. I just have had such a struggle with sunscreen and to find one that I know works and that I actually want to apply every single day is so nice and it's such a relief. Right, so for primer, now if you've been around on my channel, you know that I don't wear primer. I just, I've never, and I still feel this way, you don't need a primer. I think as long as you have a good moisturizer, you wear your SPF, I really don't think you need a primer. However, there have been some really amazing primers that I feel like if I don't apply, like I just, I don't know, I feel like I need to apply them before I do my makeup and my makeup is very, very minimal. So I don't, I, tr I don't wear traditional foundation from day to day or anything. So again, it's just all about skin prep, making my skin look and feel as good as possible, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. So I would rather wear a primer than wear a foundation. There are three, I know that's so crazy. I have three primers that I love. The price points are kind of all over the place. So we'll start with the most affordable and that is the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip Primer. This is the niacinamide version. I also have, I don't have it with me. I also have the blue one. Um, honestly, I can't tell a difference. This is just the one that I opened first. So I'm just, I just wanna go ahead and use this one. I love this. It's so beautiful. It gives the most beautiful, juicy look to the skin. Even if you're not wearing any foundation or makeup on top, it makes your skin look so juicy, like you just got a facial. But if you are wearing makeup, it has this nice tackiness to it. Everything just applies so beautiful on top. So I know a lot of people rave about this, so it's nothing, yeah, this, I'm not telling you anything new but it is so good. It's so, so good. And it's from the drugstore, which is awesome. So I've been loving that one. And then the Euphoria pregame primer. And honestly, I just find that this is an additional moisturizing base. I'll go ahead and apply a little bit right now. Um, but it just, it's, it's like a moisturizer, a very thin, lightweight moisturizer, but it has a little bit of slip to it, which is what I like. Um, if y'all remember, I used to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. This is very similar to that, but I actually like this one better. So this is more of a product that I will wear when I don't, I'm not wearing makeup that day, but I just want to make my skin look as good as possible without anything else on it. This is the primer I will go for. Now, if I'm needing something really juicy and moisturizing, maybe my skin is feeling extra dry, which recently it has been feeling a little bit more dry than normal. I've also been dealing with a lot of allergies, so like my eyes have just been really dry, my nose has been really dry. This is my favorite primer. Again, this is not necessary. You could use a really just luscious, hydrating moisturizer, but I do have this in my collection and I just, I love using it every single time. And it's the RMS, I don't know why I said that funny, RMS Re-Evolve Radiance locking primer. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous primer. It kind of comes out like a gel, but it's so nourishing and hydrating and it's beautiful. And again, it's not necessary, but it's so good. It's it's just one of those primers that I actually really enjoy using. I don't think you need both of these. This one's definitely more rich, um, but I don't think you need both of these. So I just, I have them, um, so I just use them and I love them and just kind of depends on the day. Now, while I am not a foundation wearer, a foundation that I have really enjoyed when I want to wear foundation is actually the RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. So whenever I wear this foundation, I wear the primer with it. I just think they go well together. They're obviously formulated to be worn together. 
and I think they're absolutely beautiful together. So this is the foundation I've been loving. I'll go and apply it today because um, I don't think I've talked about it too much here on YouTube. I use it a lot on Instagram, but it is beautiful. It is so beautiful. So to open it, you do it like this and it's a pump, but then you can also pull this out. You have the foundation right there. So this is actually the shade 22. I think I need the shade 33. I kind of go between the two shades. I'm going to go grab that. All right, so I have the shade 33, um, thank goodness. So you just take it out and then you can pop it back in and that's how it works. And then there you go, you can just twist it down. So I'm gonna use the shade 33 today. And it is a little bit of a thicker foundation, but it's not like super, super, super thick. Um, I don't know, there's just something so special about this. It's so pretty. I think if I had to compare it to another foundation, I would say it's very similar to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, where it's got really good coverage, it's a little bit on the thicker side, but it feels like you're applying skincare to your face rather than makeup. It's, uh, it's just so beautiful. All right, and I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush to blend this out. It blends beautifully with a brush, with a sponge, with your fingertips, it it's really easy to use. It's not like a foundation that's finicky and you have to work with it. Like, it's just stunning. It kind of reminds me also of the Kosas foundation. And if you really want to sheer it out and make it more thin and more lightweight, you can mix it in with their primer, which I've done before as well. Scoop shall we a little bit so you can see a natural finish to it. It's not dewy. It's not matte. It wears all day long. Oh my gosh. I cannot say enough good things about it. It's so good. The packaging is quite bulky. I don't love it for the makeup bag. Um, if I need to take it with me or travel, I don't love the packaging. I love that it's refillable. And honestly, if you really wanted to, you could just take the refill with you if you are traveling because um, this outer part is just quite bulky. All right, so have to use my Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I still love this so much. This I love just paired with my La Roche-Posay sunscreen, a little bit of this on the under eyes. And that is my go-to homeschool look. A little bit of my Tude Brow Soap, Curl the Lashes, Naturium Lip Balm. That is my homeschool look. It is fresh, effortless, takes five minutes, and all those products, while they are very minimal, they make such a big difference. And this rare under eye brightener is phenomenal. I actually decluttered her other concealer her more full coverage concealer not because it's a bad concealer but because i just love this one so much i think katie fawn described it as spandex for the under eyes and that's literally what it is i could not think of a better way to describe it it truly is like spandex for the under eyes it sets itself you don't have to use powder it fills in any lines you have around the eye area like it's it's perfect it's perfect I don't know what kind of voodoo they put in this formula, but it is just amazing. All right, so for spot concealing on the occasions when I do want to spot conceal, especially when I'm doing a little bit more of a glam full coverage look, Inner Beauty Cosmetics Concealer, I've raved about this for a really long time. It is so good. I've never heard one person talk about this brand, much less their concealer. It's just the absolute best. If you love something similar to the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, Hourglass Vanish Concealer, Kosas Revealer Concealer, then you will love this. This is those, but better in my opinion. I'm actually running out of this. You can buy this brand on Amazon. You can, of course, buy it from her website. And again, this one sets itself. You don't need to use a powder with it. It's got a nice... Um, more matte finish, which I like for spots. I have two uh, bronzers, 
but one of them I don't really use as a bronzer. I was actually, I meant to talk about this when I was doing my sunscreen and everything, but I totally forgot, so I'll talk about it now. But it's the Armani Luminous Silk Glow Liquid Bronzer. I have all three shades, and I kind of just go between all three shades depending on how tan I am. The cur My current shade that I'm using is 90, which is the lightest shade, but I love mixing this in with my La Roche-Posay sunscreen. I've done this so many times on my Instagram, so if you follow me there, you've seen it, but this is beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't even know how to describe it. It has this beautiful dry down to it. It's not sticky. It says glow, but it doesn't have a shiny or reflective quality to it. It actually has quite a more matte dry down, which I like in the Texas heat, and I just find mixed with my SPF it's the perfect everyday tinted moisturizer. I love wearing this on its own as a foundation, which is so weird, I know, and I know it's not gonna work for everyone, but oh my gosh, this is incredible. It obviously works great as a liquid bronzer. It's just a really great multi-purpose product. The bronzer that I love and I use the most is the Rose Ink Cream Bronzer. So I have mine in the shade Kauai. She is the Chanel Soleil Tan but a million times better. And I have the Chanel bronzer. I did not get rid of it. I kept it because it is a beautiful bronzer, but this is so much better and it doesn't have coconut oil. The Chanel one does have coconut oil. Just take this duo, dual ended elf brush, which I also love. This is amazing. If you don't have this, definitely grab it. And then I take the smaller end of the brush, take it down the nose. Not really contouring, this is definitely more of a traditional bronzer, but I just kind of use it to add back definition. And then I like to take it through my eye socket. Honestly, I just love double-ended brushes. This e.l.f. one is amazing, this Persona one is amazing. I also have one from Nude Sticks. Yeah, this one. Like, I love a good double-ended brush. They are so just nice to use and I like that you get two brushes in one. All right, so before I set the face, I am going to do a little bit of highlight and this is probably going to come as a surprise. I don't know. I feel like I use this all the time, but I don't really talk about it that much, but this is my favorite, favorite highlighter and it's actually the e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is so good. I have the Charlotte Tilbury one and I like this one. It's not as metallic on the skin. It's a little bit more natural. I feel like this one, you can actually use it as a foundation. Whereas the Charlotte Tilbury one is just way too metallic, in my opinion. I know a lot of people like to use it for foundation, so no shade. But I think just for the price, and I just think this one's better. Like, I would definitely go for the e.l.f. one. I have been using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder for so many years. The press version, the loose one, I've gone through so many of those. And I have a new powder that has replaced that one. And it is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. This is the Ben Nye Media Pro Powder Palette. Um, I talked about this in my last video. I had actually just purchased it. This has quickly become my favorite setting powder. I love this shade, which is called Rose Petal. I love the colorless powder, which the colorless powder I've used for years. I used to have it in the loose version. It's so good. If you've never tried the colorless powder or even their neutral set, the Ben Knight neutral set powder, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, and so affordable. Um, but they also have a banana shade, they have the cameo shade, and then they have four, um, shades down here and I actually use this one as a bronzer. I'm going to take Rose Petal which has a little bit of a pinkiness to it which I like and I'm going to use that to set my under eyes. This powder makes you look flawless. I like to take a larger brush and I kind of dabble between Cameo and the, what is this, Colorless. I also, if I want a little bit more color or coverage, I'll kind of dip into these, into this one. This one is uh, 002, Bella 002, and since we're doing a little bit more of a glam look today, and I literally just slapped this on my face. It is so easy to use. I'm going to take Bella 6, which is this one. This is not technically a bronzer, but I just use it as one. 
which I think is great. Like if you can find a face powder formula that you really enjoy, get in a deeper shade and use it as a bronzer if you're able to. And then I'm gonna take my favorite BK Beauty 205 brush, take a little bit of that same shade, just run that down my nose, through my socket. So speaking of Ben Nye palettes, I also have the Pressed Color palette. This is in the shade variety Fashion Rouge. And this is the only blush that I wear. Sometimes I'll dabble and do some cream blush. Like I'm really loving the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Love. I've been wearing that a lot because it's a great fall color. But this, from day to day, this is it. Fresh Coral. And these are refillable as well. Yeah, I mean, I've been using Ben Nye for years. And the products are just good. They don't have the flashy packaging, but the products are solid and that's all I care about. I don't care about flashy packaging. As long as the products are good, like that's all that matters to me. So for the eyes, I just have a couple products that I want to talk about. I don't wear eyeshadow um, really ever. On Sundays, I like to dabble in eyeshadow and kind of play around a little bit. So the first being the Urban Decay 24-7 ink liners. Oh my gosh, these are so good. If you are new to liquid liner or you just need something really fast, you need something that's not going to smudge, that's not going to move around, these are amazing and they're really ergonomical. So you can kind of see like the shape of them. They're really easy to hold. So I have three shades that I use the most. Whiskey, oh, that's whiskey. It's just a nice kind of, kind of lighter brown. It's not, in, it's not like a dark rich brown. And then I love the shade Oil Slick. So that's Oil Slick. And then Zero, which is the, their, just their uh, black shade. Then one other eye product is another product from Ben Nye. Now this is more of a recent purchase. I think I got this um, about a week and a half ago. So it's very new to me, but the formula is just top notch. It's so good and it's what I've been reaching for every time that I do eyeshadow. And it is this beautiful, beautiful multi-use palette. This is called the Essential Eyeshadow Palette. And I use this for brows. I use it for highlighting. I use it on the eyes obviously you could use some of these shades for contour like it's just a great multi-use palette they are refillable as well just like the other palettes so if you run out of one or if you find that you're not using one you can pop it out and put a different one in there but this is so good another thing i want to mention about these palettes that's really great if you are a makeup artist or if you store your makeup a certain way all the palettes have the names on the spine so if you put them in your makeup bag like this or if you put them in your kit i have a little makeup caddy i've shown this before but i have a little makeup caddy and i stand them up in my caddy so i know exactly what palette it is and i know that's kind of something small but it's actually really helpful and really nice so i don't have to like dig through i can just see what it is so anyway just wanted to mention that um, but yeah, we're going to use a little bit of this today and then I want to use some of this liner. So before we do liner, I'm going to set my lid with, uh, let's see, I'm going to use the shade shell and all of these are really popular kind of classic Ben Nye eyeshadow shades and you can buy them individually as well. You don't have to buy the whole palette. Again, these palettes are pricey, but I'm kind of an all-in-one person. I don't want to have a bunch of singles and things kind of lying around. So I like having everything just all in one. So I'm going to take a little bit of this shade, which is Cork. And I'm just going to run that through my crease just really lightly. And then I'm going to take that on my lower lash line as well. So now let's do some liner. And I'm going to take the shade Whiskey with the outer corner. This is what the liner looks like too. It's a felt tip. So it's just really precise. These are so easy to use. They don't dry out. You don't have to like store them a certain way. I store mine standing up like this and they never dry out. So I'm going to do liner with the wood liner first. But then what I've been loving to do is to smoke it out with some eyeshadow so it's a little bit softer. And you can just create the most like sharp edge 
what I like to do is take a little smudgy brush like this. All these brushes with the beige handles, these are um, from Amazon. They're from the brand Jessup. I will link these below if you're curious. They're really, really good actually. Um, I bought these a long time ago and I really like them. So I'm gonna go into the shade Mink Stole, just this one. And I'm just gonna smudge that into the liner just to soften it up a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. And curling the lashes makes such a difference. All right, so I have two favorite mascaras and they're both brown mascaras. Uh, the first is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. This is so good, the formula is so good. Even if you don't like brown mascara, they do have a black version. And this is what the brush looks like. And this reminds me so much of the Tower 28 mascara, which is one of my all time favorites, but this is so much cheaper and it's just as good. So if you like a very lengthening, separating, everyday mascara, you will love this. And then the YSL Lash Clash, Lash Clash Mascara, not just because the formula is really good. I think the formula is excellent, but I think there are more affordable options for a super volumizing mascara. But the reason I just love this one and it made the favorites is because of the color. So this is their brown mascara. This is definitely more brown than the e.l.f. one. It's like that true, true brown. It's not a brown black. Like this is a true brown. I'll go and apply that today. This is definitely more volumizing than the e.l.f. one. And if you apply a really light coat, you can get more of that length and separation without a ton of volume. I will say this brush is a little bit difficult to get on the lower lash line or the lower lashes, whereas the e.l.f. one is super easy to get on the lower lashes because of the brush. So I think I'm gonna use the e.l.f. one on my bottom lashes. But yeah, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. They also came out with the blue one as well, which I think would be really fun to try. And I'm gonna use the e.l.f. one on my bottom lashes. And it's nice and curved too, so it's really easy to get in there. We can do a lip. I actually have quite a few Ooh, that's some mascara down there. I have quite a few lip favorites. I'm not gonna be able to wear all of them, obviously, but I do want to mention them. Um, I'm super into lip stains right now just because with my lifestyle, I like to be able to apply a lip and then it wear all day long. I don't have to touch it up, reapply it, worry about it smudging. So I have a couple lip stains that I really like. Um, on the affordable side, these e.l.f. glossy lip stains are the best. If you have not tried these, you've got to at least just try one shade. They are so good. They apply like a gloss. So they're really tiny, which is great for travel, great for your makeup bag, but I'm kind of wondering how much product is in here because these are real tiny. Um, but they look like this. They apply like a lip gloss. They have a little bit of a shine to them. They're not super, super glossy, but my favorite way to apply them is at the beginning of my makeup routine, apply it all over my lips, do my makeup, and then at the end, take a cloth or cotton round, wipe it off, and it leaves the most beautiful matte lip stain. And then I'll usually go in with just a little bit of lip pencil. And that way, all I have to touch up throughout the day is my lip pencil. I can even throw some gloss on top. And all I have to touch up is the gloss throughout the day. So these are amazing, super affordable from the drugstore. Now, if you want something a little bit more bougie, uh, the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils are so good. It's essentially the same formula as the e.l.f. ones, but these are slightly minty, which is kind of nice. I like minty lip products. And the shade range, I feel like, is a little bit better with the Rare ones. Um, but again... This little doe foot applicator applies just like a gloss, but it's not super, super glossy. And I do the exact same thing with these. Those are my favorite lip products. And then I wanted to share my go-to nude lip. It's a bougie one. All right, so it's my favorite Tower 28 multi-liner. As you can see, she's well-loved. This is my second one. Uh, my first one I completely used up. So I'm gonna apply this all over. I also love the shade, this one. This is um, Fill Me In. Is it this one that's a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk? Tower 28 in Fill Me In is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So 
great formula. I love this shade as well. These Tower 28 liners are really, really good. I top it with a very bougie lip product. This is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine Lipstick in the shade 44. That's what it looks like. Oh my gosh. You do not need this. There are lipsticks at the drugstore that I'm sure are just as good. I don't know shade-wise, like a shade that would dupe this. Um, I mean, it's a pinky nude, like you should be able to find this anywhere, but this is just, this is what I've been wearing. It's got color to it, but it's not like a true, true lipstick and it feels quite moisturizing. It has a kind of like Jolly Rancher smell. Yeah, like a candy Jolly Rancher. Yeah, Jolly Rancher, definitely Jolly Rancher smell to it. And then if I want something more glossy, I will take one of my Naturium Balms. Actually, I'll do that right now. I'll take the shade Plum. I love this shade. It looks very purple in the tube, but it's really not this purple. You can kind of see, like, it's not, it's not super purple. Hide that on top. All right, guys, so that is the end of the video. I know I'm so sad. I had so much fun hanging out with y'all today, just talking about all my favorite things. And let me know in the comments what your current makeup, skincare, just beauty favorites are. I would love to know. I feel kind of out of touch with what people are loving just because I'm not super, just because I'm not really keeping up with everything and I've just got such a busy life outside of beauty and makeup and all that. Let me know in the comments what you're loving right now and I will try and film another video. I know they've been very spaced out and I have not been very present on here but definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to see more beauty related content I've been doing. Uh, I actually posted my first fall makeup look the other day and um, I'm finishing up my makeup declutter series. But I've just been so busy with homeschool and we are planning, our family is planning some incredible things for next year. Next year is, is it guys. Like we have some amazing things coming next year and I can't wait to share that with y'all. So we've been working on that and it's just been a lot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed just hanging out with me today. And I truly appreciate everyone who tunes in and watches and comments and likes and um, just supports my channel. Thank y'all so much for being here as always. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. So